Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I'm going to show you how to install the Subco bullet piercing valve on any air conditioning or refrigeration system. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So one day you might find yourself working on a sealed air conditioning or refrigeration system and when you go to put your gauges on, you realize there are no access ports. The Subco bullet piercing valve is your solution. If you find yourself working on a sealed system, you have no access to the refrigerant. This means you cannot recover refrigerant, you cannot evacuate the system, and you cannot charge the system. So what do we do? How are we supposed to recover refrigerant from a system that has no access ports? This valve allows you to attach to any pipe so you have access to connect your gauges. If we look closely onto the pipe, we can see a piercing valve installed. And this is an amazing tool and a great thing to have in your truck whenever you come across a sealed system. Here we have two packages. On the left side is the bullet piercing valve BPV31, where you can use it for quarter inch, 5 16 and 3 8 tubing. And on the right, we have the BPV21, where we can use it for half inch and 5 8 tubing. When you open up your package, these are the contents that you're going to find, along with a set of instructions. On the bottom left, we have two adapters. In the middle, we have our actual valve. And on the right, it comes with a Allen key. Let's begin by opening up our valve, but before we do, just a heads up, if you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. Let's get straight into it. So right here, is our access port, and here's our cap with the gasket inside. There is no pin on this valve, so it's important to know how this works. One, two, and three are the screws that we're going to take apart so we can separate this valve in half. As you can see, we have a mark here. So let's begin by unscrewing this. Once we take off these screws, we're going to be able to separate the top of the valve and the bottom. As you can see here, we have a gasket and a hole. As we screw down on this middle Allen key, we're gonna pierce the pipe. And this, we wrap around the pipe. All right, so now we have opened up our valve and here are two adapters. So, if we were using a 5 16 pipe, we would use this adapter. If we were using a quarter inch pipe, we would use this adapter. If we're using a 3 8 pipe, we don't use any adapter. But let's say you had a quarter inch adapter. You would put that piece in here. Once that adapter is on, we can then close this valve. Next, the same principle if you were using a 5 16 pipe. As you can see, there is a small little notch here, and you would match that up with the notch right there. Just drop it in, it basically just acts as a filler. So you can use this for the correct size pipe. All right, so in front of us, we have a 3 8 pipe, so I will not be using the filler, and I will be using the smaller valve. So now I could put one end here. See if it fits nicely. And then we can put the other piece. And from there, we put our three screws back and lock it down. The three screws we're putting back are the ones that we took off to separate the valve. So right there and tighten them all down. All right, so we have tightened down each of these three bolts. And across the seam, 
you can see we are perfectly snug. At this point, you're going to want to connect your refrigerant gauges. So let's say this is your suction line. You're going to want to connect your suction line hose, which is going to be your blue one on the left side of your gauge set or your manifold set and have it connected. This video is for demonstration purposes only, so I do not have a manifold here. So let's all pretend that we have a hose on this port. Now what we want to focus on is this middle screw. So as we tighten down on that screw, we're now going to be piercing the pipe. So now we are completely snug and a little bit more. Now we have pierced the pipe. Once we start to release and go the opposite way, pressure is going to be coming out of here. And now you can do whatever you want with the refrigerant. You're going to start to read refrigerant pressures on your gauges. So one tip to really remember, really, when you're taking off your gauges, make sure to back this in again. So you're going to want to go clockwise and make sure that pin, actually that screw, is all the way back into the pipe or when you take off the gauges, you're going to release all the refrigerant or you're going to lose your vacuum, whatever you are doing with the system. So let's go over this one more time. We have our gauges connected. We are going to put this Allen key and spin it clockwise. That's going to pierce the pipe. When we back out the screw and go counterclockwise, we're now reading refrigerant pressures. We have the system open. We can do whatever we want. Before we take off our hose, make sure to back this in again and go clockwise. So we push the pin back in then we can release our gauges. And another really important tip, before you put refrigerant back into this system, it is important to charge the system with nitrogen and check for leaks around the pipe and make sure this is not leaking as well, the access port. If you find any leaks, just tighten down on these three screws. If the surrounding area is leaking and if this area is leaking, you tighten down the middle screw like this we can ensure that we're not releasing refrigerant into the atmosphere and that right there ladies and gentlemen is how you access a sealed air conditioning or refrigeration system if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time